Continuing with the impact of transactions on ratios, we purchase office equipment, which means our property plant and equipment is increasing. We paid part in cash, which means our current asset is decreasing, and the balance is payable in 60 days, which means our current liabilities are increasing. So in this case, working capital will be decreased, as will the current ratio, as will the asset turnover. There'll be no impact on profit margin, because none of those accounts have to do with the income statement. Debt to equity will increase, and there will be no change in earnings per share. Purchased a large amount of office supplies on credit, which means our current asset, office supplies, is going up, as is our current liabilities, by the same amount. And if this is the case, then there'll be no change in the working capital, because it's a subtraction, whereas the current ratio will be reduced because of the proportion proportionality of the numerator and the denominator. Asset turnover will also be reduced. No impact on profit margin or earnings per share because nothing to do with the income statement. And debt to equity will increase because current liabilities are going up. The owners invest cash in the corporation and receive stock. That means the corporation's current assets, cash, are going up and their shareholders' equity, or contributed capital, is increasing. If contributed capital goes up, then the number of shares also increases. So we want to keep that into uh, account when we get to earnings per share. So if this is the case, working capital will increase because current assets went up. Current ratio will increase because current assets went up. Asset turnover will decrease. Profit margin, no impact, because nothing with revenues or expenses. Debt to equity will be reduced, because shareholders' equity increased. And earnings per share will be reduced, because the number of shares outstanding, because we sold additional shares of stock, there's more shares out, so the earnings per share is reduced. When I look at making an adjusting entry for insurance, that means the expenses are going to go up, debit insurance expense, and prepaid insurance, or the current asset, is going to be reduced. Thus, working capital will go down, current ratio will go down, asset turnover will increase, profit margin will be reduced, debt to equity will be increased, and earnings per share will be reduced. If we paid off the office supplies purchased earlier, that means our current liability accounts payable is being reduced, as is our current asset cash. So since both current asset and current liability are being reduced, working capital, there's no impact. But because of the proportionality of the numerator and denominator, the current ratio will increase, as will the asset turnover. Since there's nothing about the income statement, nothing to the profit margin or earnings per share, and debt to equity will be reduced because liabilities were reduced. If we make the entry for uh, adjusting entry for depreciation, we increase the depreciation expense and we reduce property plant and equipment. Uh, which is a long-term asset. And so let's see the impact. There's no impact on working capital or current ratio since those accounts were not impacted. Asset turnover will increase. Profit margin will decrease because expenses went up. Debt to equity will increase. And earnings per share will decrease made an adjusting entry for supplies 
used during the period, which means the expenses go up, and our current assets are reduced. Since current assets are reduced, working capital and current ratio will be reduced. Asset turnover will increase. Profit margin will decrease. De debt to equity will increase. And earnings per share will decrease. And finally, made an adjusting entry to recognize the portion of the fee received in advance has now been earned which means that my current liability will be reduced, unearned revenue, deferred revenue, or payments received in advance, because we have now earned it. So revenue goes up, current liabilities go down. Because of that, my working capital, which is current assets minus current liabilities, will increase. My current ratio, current assets over current liabilities, will increase. My asset turnover, net sales over average assets, will increase. Profit margin, net income over um, sales, will decrease. And debt to equity, total liabilities over total shareholders' equity, will be reduced whereas earnings per share, net income, divided by the shares outstanding, will increase. So hopefully this is a great review to get you ready for the first exam. Please make them beautiful.